Shumai Pab and Kreisa Okaginya Arahid. Hello everyone and welcome to The Cook Along. My name is Richard and today we're going to be making some delicious muffins right there, some fruit muffins which I promise you are absolutely blasis yam. Before we get started uh, with our cooking activity, please make sure that your area is nice and clean and tidy. Make sure that there is an adult to help you pop things into the oven, but most importantly, please make sure that you have washed your hands because we don't want any suffering from any food poisoning because we haven't washed those. So once you've done that we are ready to get started and as I said we're making some fruit muffins today and they're probably one of my favourite things that we make here um, at Cooking Together and they are a super super simple recipe. We're gonna go through the recipe during this cook long but basically the ingredients list is coming up on the side now. You're going to need 150 grams of self-raising flour or if you haven't got self-raising flour in the house, which I haven't at the moment because I couldn't get it from the supermarket, I'm just going to today be using some plain flour and also some um, baking powder as well, which will help our muffins to rise. You'll also need some caster sugar. Um, you have got also got 75 grams of some sort of fruit that we're going to add to our muffins and that's what I class as my dry ingredients, okay? So we're, I'm going to be talking about my dry ingredients today and also my wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, you'll need an oil or an egg, you'll need some olive, some um, oil, and you'll also need some lath, some milk. So let's get cracking. I'm just gonna pop those just over there. And as I said, we're going to start with our dry ingredients um, today. And you can see that I'm weighing and measuring on my little set of weighing scales just there. You might have the manual ones, but I really like the digital ones because you can add lots of other ingredients. And I'm just gonna pop that onto there. And I've already put in my 150 grams of um, plain flour. And as I said, if you've only got plain flour, then you will need to add a little bit of a raising agent. If you've got self-raising flour, ignore this part of the cook along, right? But for our baking powder, for every 150 grams, you need a level spoonful. And when I say a level spoonful, I'm talking about that much, just like that, and hoping you're able to see, right? Because what lots of people will do, they will add that much, just like that, which is way, way, way too much. So to get the correct amount, I just pop it onto my little spoon, just like that, and I scrape it along the side of the little pot and I've got my level spoonful. I'm hoping that you're able to see that and not just waving it in the air, okay? So I'm just gonna pop that into there. Give that a little mix, not the pot group. Did you get that joke? Okay, a little mix just like that and you've got your self-raising flour um, just there. So I'm just gonna pop that into there and then the next thing you've got for our dry ingredients is you have got 50 grams of um, caster sugar. Okay, it could be granulated, but with granulated, it'll end up with sort of lumpy bits on top. So caster sugar is better when we're cake making or muffin making. So all of those are gonna go into there. Then, oh, I'm not gonna waste any of that. I've got half a, half a, a bit of pot of uh, sugar just there. And the last thing that I've got, got just there is my Aaron glass, my uh, blueberries. And I've got approximately 75 grams of blueberries. You could use fresh, but I'm using frozen today, which I've let to slightly defrost. Now, you could add whatever fruit you fancy, right? I've often done, and I've got ones to show you afterwards, I've, uh, the ones that I made earlier are half um, blueberries and half frozen raspberries. You could just do raspberry ones. You could do raspberry and cocoa uh, cocoa powder or chocolate. You could do banana muffins. You could do apple and cinnamon. You could put some stewed rhubarb in there and a little bit of ginger. There's lots and lots of different things. You could even go up onto the mountain and you could pick up some wimberries and pop those in. And I promise you that wimberry muffins are absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna pop all of my blueberries just into there, all of my air and glass, and that is my dry ingredients. And I'm just gonna give that just a little mix, or mix in Welsh is kamusky. So we kamusky, kamusky, kamusky. And I'm just gonna pop that to the side, just like that, because then we're gonna concentrate on our wet ingredients, right? And as I said, for our wet ingredients, you are going to need in oil, okay? So one egg, You've also got 60 millilitres of um, milk or scythe and 
one dessert spoon, one level dessert spoon is equal to 10 millilitres, right? So it would be six dessert spoons of milk and 30 mils or three dessert spoonfuls of our olive just there. Now then, to crack your egg, I'm just gonna grab myself a little fork. There's lots and lots of ways to crack your egg, right? And I see lots of different ways um, when I'm going around to various places. Some people do it on the side like that, some people pop it on there. I've even seen people try to crack it on their heads, right? But the easiest way and the best way to do it is to hold it in your hand like a little cradle okay and then you're going to take a table knife or the back of your fork because we're going to whisk it up anyway okay and we're just going to do one swoop and then we open it up and by doing it that way we're less likely to get um lots of shell into there so watch okay one a firm swoop you can then you can see my little crack just on there you can then get your fingers into that little crack you can pull it open, your egg will go straight into there and you can see that I've got no shell whatsoever. So that is the easiest way of doing that. That can obviously go into your little compass bin, then you need to quickly go and wash your hands, right? So I'm just gonna quickly wash my hands, just one second. And give them a little dry off and I've got some antibacterial gel just there so we'll pop a little bit of that on. Then, as I said, once you've got your in oil in your bowl, we can then add six dessert spoons or 60 millilitres. You could weigh it out. So that's in of size, di, tri, hedwa, pim, chwech, and 30 millilitres or three level dessert spoons of your olive. So in, di, a tri. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop those back on to there to keep myself nice and tidy. So this is now where we've got our dry ingredients with all of uh, the dry, uh, um, the flour and the blueberries, etc. And we've got our wet ingredients. So we're now ready to mix these together. Now, before I mix these together, I just want to briefly talk about the type of muffin trays, right? There's lots and lots and lots of different muffin trays. I'm just gonna be cooking them today in this little stainless steel one, and you can see I've got lovely um, uh, blueberry color or um, blueberry color sort of pastry cases. Couldn't remember what they were then, okay? Uh, or you could go down the route of getting one of these lovely flexible molds, which are also really good because they will just pop out. And I'll show you uh, some that I made earlier. But just remember, if you're doing them in the flexible molds, make sure that your tray is on a baking tray before you start, right? Because otherwise you're sort of wobbling it around just like that. But as I said, I'm gonna be making those in that one just there. So let's crack on with making uh, these. I'm just gonna grab myself a little wooden spoon because it's easier with our wooden spoon. So first job is just in the dry ingredients, just make sure that you've created that little well just like that. Then we're going to whisk up very quickly, it doesn't have to be perfect, your wet ingredients, okay? And that goes into your little well just like that and that can go just over there, right? Then we go into mix, right? Now then, we want to mix in a figure of eight or mixing well, she's come musky. Okay, but we're not going to beat it, right? Because we don't want to damage the fruit. And we also, the difference between a muffin and a cake is a muffin, we want it to rise, but we want it to be quite a dense mixture. So we, that's why we haven't sieved the flour or anything like that. And we're just a nice figure of eight if you can. Give it a really good mix and try not to break up the fruit. And you can see that I have got my some of them uh, there was lots of juice in there we've got our muffin and um, sort of uh, mixture just there just until it's all mixed up right now i'm just going to use a little scraper just like that to get that off my little wooden spoon just until it's all combined and then we're ready to spoon them into there now for spooning them i see lots of people right get a little bit and they use their finger that's putting raw egg onto your fingers. So we're always thinking about personal and uh, food hygiene, right? So what we're gonna do with your scraper, or if you haven't got one of those, a little teaspoon, a little bit on your spoon, and you scrape it off. And you want them 
about three quarters full. We're sharing this mixture out anyway. This will make easily six large uh, muffins or 12 smaller muffins. And I'll show you the smaller ones afterwards. A little bit on your spoon and scrape it off. A little bit on your spoon and scrape it off. And I'm just gonna push those just into there. Once they have got mixture in, they're easier to push down. So a little bit on your spoon and then scrape it off. A little bit on your spoon and then scrape it off. And finally, a little bit on your spoon and scrape it off. And those blueberries will burst when they go into the oven. I'm not gonna waste anything that's in there because if it's there when I'm washing it up, you're more tempted to eat it. So we're just gonna scrape everything out. And this is where your scraper becomes really handy because you can make sure that you've scraped all of that out just like that and find one that doesn't have much in. And I'm gonna take a little bit out of that one so they're nice, all nice and even, just like that. So I'm gonna pop that just over there and you can see that I've got my muffins all ready to go in the oven. Now these are gonna go uh, in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade, that's gas mark four, until they're well risen, they're golden brown in colour and your kitchen area smells absolutely glasses young. So bear with me, I'm actually going to cook them in my little halogen oven um, just over there. Um, but you, if you've got a normal oven at home, that is fine as well. So, And I'm back in the room. Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, you can see that I cleaned my area down, I've given my hands a wash off and I'm now ready to show you our delicious muffins. You can see just here, both of these have been cooling down uh, in their trays, but I got some muffins and these were raspberry and blueberry muffins that I made earlier. And you can see that I actually did them in cases in this little flexible mold, which means that we can just literally, if I take that one off just like that, you can literally just pull those out and the great thing about these is that you could have one, okay, as a little um, healthy sort of treat, and then the rest can go into an airtight container until the next day, or even better, you can pop them into the freezer and then take them out as and when you need them. So that's um, what they look like um, just in the little paper cases. If you have decided to do them in the flexible molds, the way that I like to do it is you let them cool down in the flexible mold and then just with a little spoon, we're just, you can see I might have overfilled a couple of these, right? But it really doesn't matter, okay? We're just gonna go round the edges just to ease them from, away from the uh, silicone mold, just like that, making sure that I have done each and every one of them. I am done that one just like that. That's nearly fallen off. Just make sure that you go all the way round because then comes the best bit, right? Because what should happen, are you ready? Perhaps I could have a little drum roll. Are you ready? I'm gonna tip this over and hopefully the muffins will come out. So ready, in, die, three. Turn them over just like that and it never works. I've only got three, right? But if it just don't all pop out, then you can just push them out with your fingers and you can see that these, right, are a nice little bite size. So perhaps you could have two-ish um, as a little healthy treat and it looks like you can be eating a few more. And again, these are great when you're absolutely starving Marvin or you want a little treat, then you've got your little muffins um, just there. Now, as I said, don't forget, you can add whatever fruit you want to these muffins. It's a really, really nice basic recipe. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's quick cook along, cooking you at a heat. I certainly have enjoyed showing you how to make these delicious muffins. Don't forget that the recipe is coming on the screen at the end of this video. It's also available on the uh, Facebook page and also our website, which is cookingtogether.co.uk. Don't forget to send us lots of photos of the muffins and all of the other recipes you've been making. But in the meantime, I look forward to cooking with you again. But cooking your happiest. Dich and